The wildfire scorching Maui have killed at least 53 people and destroyed hundreds of buildings. So this is sad. There's a video over here. Check it out. Bands of flames and smoke that spread horrifically fast, Whoa. arriving without warning, giving people little or no time to evacuate. Those are the consistent, terrifying accounts of victims and witnesses on Maui. We saw this smoke start about a block away from our house, and this was maybe 3.30, 4 o'clock. By 5.30, our house was gone. All right, you got Everything a lot of photos and videos on YouTube and elsewhere. Are we going to read this news right now? The catastrophic wildfire scorched in Maui has killed at least 53 people, kind of officials said Thursday afternoon as they fought to put out the flames that had been burned on the Hawaiian Islands for three days. Continued. Governor Joe Green said earlier on Thursday that he expected deaths also rise significantly from the previous can, which was 36 as responders go through the hundreds of buildings that were burned to the ground. We haven't had a loss of life incident like this for many years, Green saw CNN's Walt Blitzer. As we get into the many hundreds of houses that were overwhelmed by fire, he added, we have great concern. We will find the remains of people that were not able to escape. He estimates, uh, what? As we get into the many hundreds of houses that were overwhelmed by fire, he added, we have a great concern. We will find the remains of people that were not able to escape. Oh, okay. Concerning me that not sure. Yeah. Um, what is this? Like. Uh, he estimated that upwards of 1,700 buildings were destroyed. 53 deaths thus far reported by Maui County officials appeared to make the wildfire that touched the story town of Lahaina, second deadliest place in the United States in a century. It trials only California's campfire, which killed 85 people in 2018. A Maui County official told CNN it would be unrealistic to expect identifications of those killed anytime soon. The fire was 80% contained by Thursday morning, local time, Maui County officials said in a news release. Those who survived recall Hawaiians escaped by car or boats while some fled into the ocean to avoid being burnt. At least 17 people were rescued from the water by the Coast Guard and uh, 40 others were uh, in the shore. The force says uh, in the news release, adding search and rescue operations are ongoing. Federal officials believe thousands of people have been displaced. Among them is Dustin Kalipu, whose home in Lahaina was destroyed. My college, friends, family, we are all homeless, Kalipu said. You can over here a link live updates daily wildfires burn across Maui. Here's the latest. Billions of dollars and losses while it's too early to know the full magnitude of destruction. Green governor told CNN he estimated billions of dollars of infrastructural damage. Dozens are dead. That's all was 53 Thursday. Maui County officials said Biden approved disaster declaration. The White House announced on Thursday the President Joe Biden has approved a disaster declaration, freeing up uh, federal aid to assist in uh, recovery in Maui County. A historic town on the virtual whipped out, much Lahania, where about 12,000 people live in the western Maui, has been destroyed and hundreds of families there have been displaced. The governor said more than 270 structures have been impacted in Lahania. County officials said some are still unaccounted for. Three helicopters from the U.S. Coast Guard and U.S. Navy were used in search and rescue efforts along the West Maui coastline. And the federal team arrived Wednesday to help search efforts in the Lahaina area. Officials says thousands don't have cell phone service. It could take days or even weeks to fill cell phone networks in Maui. Officials have been using satellite phones to communicate with providers in the west side of Maui to restore power to the area. Lieutenant Governor Sylvia Luke said power outage continued more than 10,000 homes and Businesses in Maui has no power Thursday. 
are going into paraasdh.us. Additional crews are being deployed from our Hawaiian electric set. There's not enough long-term shelter. More than 1,300 people will stay on shelter Wednesday night, Maui officials said. While there is enough shelter for an emergency response for a few days, there's not enough shelter for a long-term living, the governor told CNN. Visitor located, relocated. Maui County officials have urged the visitor to leave Lahaina and Maui as soon as possible, saying seats were available on outgoing flights. More than 14,000 people were transported off Maui on Wednesday, and officials expect an additional 14,500 to be moved off the island Thursday, the Hawaiian Tourism Authority said. Airlines increased capacity. Alaska, Delta, United, and American all brought larger planes to get more people off the island. Southwest dropped fare and increased services. Hospitals are, are overwhelmed. Hospitals in Maui were overwhelmed with burn patients and people suffering from smoke inhalation. Look to CNN Wednesday. Dramatic picture over here. The whole historic Wahala Church in Lahania, the nearby Lahania Hongwanji Mission, were engulfed in flames Tuesday. Severe communication and exciting firefights. Thousands of people, especially in Maui and Western Side, still can't call 911 and update loved ones about their status because power and communication were not count, authorities said. There you are, another photo over here. Satellite image taken on June 25th and August 9th showed an overview of Lahania Square and outlets in Maui County, Hawaii, before and after the recent wildfire. About two dozen firefighters from Honolulu Fire Department on the island of Hanu have been sent to the island of Maui to help battle the blaze so it's called Hamburg Sparks person from the Honolulu Major's office. Some Maui firefighters had been fighting the fire for 24 hours straight, Humber said. Firefighters are in expect to conduct an assessment Thursday morning. Maui can face a overnight as the full scope of the devastation remains unclear. A disaster proclamation is on Wednesday by the governor's office as several large fires continue to burn in both Maui and Hawaii counties already consumed thousands of acres. Otherwise, there has been little information about status of the wildfires, like the number of acres of scorch, uh, or the extent to which the fire has been contained. How the wildfire spread so quickly? Finally, impaired by fierce winds and from Hurricane Dora, passing hundreds of miles to the south, the wildfire in Maui and the less extent Hawaii Big Islands ignited and spread Tuesday. The fairness jumping over freeways, barreled through neighborhoods, and obliterated homes and businesses. Another photo over here. Fire burns building near Dickinson Street, Nahania, Maui, Tuesday. As of Wednesday evening, Maui the Fire Department reported no significant change for the Lahania, Upcountry, and uh, Puleho Kimi fires on the islands, Maui County officials said. You got over here another photo, all those dots you see over here is Lahania. This is Maui. Wildfires continue across the Hawaii's third most populated islands with thousands of evacuates. 100 Maui firefighters on duty around the clock and at least 11,542 people without power. Those that are fire detected in the last 24 hours over here. Uh, the ongoing drought in Hawaii worsened over the past week, helping fire spread, officer, according to the U.S. Drought Monitor release Thursday. You got another one satellite image taken on June 25th. I think we read this. Yeah, the same thing. We have no more Lahania. It's gone. Somebody said that in the devastated Maui town of Lahania, Mark Stefflin and Michelle Number Stefflin has lost their home to a wildfire for the second time in less than five years. 
They first saw flames on the half the mile from their home on Tuesday before the winds quickly intensify and the fire suddenly was in their yard, Mark Stephan told CNN on Wednesday. We just lost our home again, twice in four years, Mark Stephan said. First time their home burned into the, to the ground, it was from the quick moving fire found it by the winds from the 2018 is Hurricane Lane. Now the two story yellow home they are built is gone, and so are their cats and dog. The fire just engulfed our house. He said, We have no more Lahania, it's gone. Historic and cultural site in Lahania also has been engulfed by the fires, as CNN analysts and new Maxer technology satellite images show. May Wedling Lee, a 20 years old, 20 years resident of Maui, was at home just about a block away from the heart of Lahania as she watched a flame race toward her community Tuesday. It did not take long from when wind stepped into when we were like, we need to go. It was maybe five, ten minutes, Wedling Lee said. She jumped into her truck and left around her completely cows. It was just panic. People were crying on the side of the road and begging. She said Thursday, people jumping on each other's cars. People had bicycles. People ran. People had skateboards. People had cats under their arms and just sprinting down the streets. The apocalypse was happening. It was the worst nightmare. Imagine the worst you can picture. And it was 1,000 times worse than that. With no home and no job at the restaurant widely working, it was destroyed. It's hard to think about anything else other than getting hold of loved ones to make sure they are alive and safe, she said. There are so many unaccounted for, it's still. So thinking about tomorrow is not even an issue right now. It's just finding our friends, finding our families, finding our loved ones, she said.